What are the Bible views on abortion? In Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. And in Psalms chapter 1, 39 verses 13 and 14 states, For you formed my inward parts, you covered me in my mother's womb. And verse 14, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. Also in Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 says, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God. He created him male and female. He created them. And in Genesis 9 verse 6 says, Whoever sheds man's blood, by, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God he made man. Lastly, in Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19 states, These six things the Lord hates, yes, seven, are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. Abortion is murder. It is the killing of a human being created by God in the image of God. Rape or incest result in pregnancy does not give the right for an abortion. Two wrongs cannot make a right. There are families out there that will be happy to adopt that baby and raise him or her up in a godly, loving home. There are seven couples out there who are unable to conceive a child. And the baby in this situation is the innocent victim and should not be punished for the evil act of that person. Only a percentage of abortion can be traced to rape or incest. Another argument often used in abortion is what about when the life of the mother is at risk? Less than 1% of abortions are performed to save the life of the mother. Some medical professionals also further stated that abortion is never necessary to save the mother's life. A statement was signed by over a thousand gynecologists and maternal health care experts and other medical professionals stating that abortion is never necessary to save the mother's life. This statement was signed in 2012, which stated, as experienced practitioners and researchers in obstetrics and gynecology, we affirm that direct abortion, the purposeful destruction of the unborn child, is not medically necessary to save the life of a woman. And this is sourced from Dublin Declaration on Maternal Health, which is www.dublindeclaration.com, September 9, 2021. Also, lifenews.com represented 30,000 doctors said in 2019 that killing a late-term unborn baby in an abortion is never necessary to save a mother's life. We should also remember that God is a God of miracles and God has the ability to preserve the life of a mother and her child despite the medical odds being against it. Even in a small percentage of abortions performed to save the mother's life, most can be prevented by early induced delivery of the baby or a C-section. If the life of the mother is at risk, the course of action can only be decided by the woman, her doctor, the father of the child, and God. Any woman facing this extremely difficult situation should pray to the Lord for wisdom, and this is in James chapter 1, verse 5, which states that if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally without reproach, and it will give to him. Abortion should never be the first option. The life of a human being in the womb is worth every effort to preserve.